Today we're looking at the Flowtronic one nut pump. The model on display is the 10 inch slimline stainless steel pump. We have the suction inlet manifold on the bottom, discharge delivery manifold on the top. The product runs through the middle of the pump. On the outside we have the air domes with the air, driven air moving, air valve on the front controlling the sequence and the flow of the pump. Today we're going to look at the dismantling of the Flowtronic one nut pump so we can remove all the consumable parts ready for changing. The first item we're going to start with is undoing the one nut. So we've done it so far, we can unwind it by hand. Moving the nut, the dome washer, and the rod washer. Then we're going to remove the secondary dome, and then we're going to slide out the primary dome with the air system all attached. And now we're ready to remove the diaphragms. So these unscrew off of the thrust tube. Now we're going to remove the second diaphragm which is attached to the thrust tube. Slide it out and then we're going to remove the second diaphragm. There's the thrust tube ready for use later. Now we're ready to remove the divider seal in the middle of the pump. And the groove the divider still sits in is elongated to ease removal and replacement. Now push forward with our thumb and pull out. Now we're ready to remove the delivery manifold to get at the balls and the, and the seat o-rings. There we have the delivery manifold, the seat o-rings in there. Now there's two discharge balls. And now we're ready to remove the o-rings from the discharge manifold. And we can do this with a screwdriver. Run out. And the second one out. We can now put the manifold to one side. So now we're ready to lift off the body to get to the suction balls and o-rings. We have two bolts at the side which need to be undone. Now we can lift the body off, exposing the suction balls and o-rings. Place the body to the side. So now we can take the balls out and remove the o-rings. Here we have the pump. Fully dismantled. We started by removing the main nut, the dome washer, and the rod washer. We then took off the secondary dome and slid out the primary dome, air system, and air valve all attached. We then unscrewed the first diaphragm off of the fuss tube and removed the thrust tube 
complete with the second diaphragm and then dismantled it when it was out of the pump. The next job was to remove the divider seal from the body. And then we moved on taking the delivery manifold off so that we could remove the two discharge balls and the two seals. After that, we undid the two bolts holding the body to the suction manifold and we moved the body. This gave us access to the two balls, so the suction manifold and the two seals. Now we're ready to replace these old consumable parts with our new parts. Now we're ready to start reassembling the pump. And we're going to start by putting the two seals into the suction manifold. Now we're going to put the two balls in. And then we can replace the body. Making sure it's seated. And then we can replace the two secure screws. Now we can place two delivery balls in. Now we can put the two seals to the delivery manifold. Now we can place the delivery manifold back onto the body. Here, the two bolts. Now, ready to replace the divider seal. Here, first of all, let's wash the divider seal into an egg shape and bend. So now we're going to take the diaphragms and we're going to Remove the clamping. to make sure the seal is clean. And the same around the nose of the thrust tube. Then we can replace the first diaphragm. Please note the bearing position on the thrust tube are closer to one end than they are the other. When pushing in, if 
first diaphragm is in. We can clean the seal again. Clean the seal. And the diaphragm. And screw the diaphragm on. Diaphragms are on. We need to tighten them. Getting this as tight as you can. Really pushing it, really tighten up. So now we've tightened the diaphragms for the first time. We can leave them to the rest and concentrate on replacing the air valve unit. First of all, I'm going to undo. Four socket heads, holding the air valve on. Remove this. Now we can replace this unit with a new one and new silencers. Screw the silencers in. We now need to check that there is no product blocking these holes on the cover plate and also the signal holes on the air system at the front. And the two in the shaft there, and that one there, and that one there, signal holes are clear of product and the same the air holes at the end. If everything is clear, we can carry on. So we can replace cover plate. Now the pump is ready for final assembly. So after five minutes, we can give the diaphragms one more tighten, make sure they're nice and tight. And ensuring the end that the bearings are closest to is the end we put the system in. And then we place secondary dome. The dome washer. The 
blood washer and the main nut. Also nice and tight. We can then do the nut back up to the required torque. And then we have a complete service on a Flowtronic one nut pump.